All right, back with another one, and you can see what I got here. Yeah, another one, just the same as over there. And I'm gonna be putting out a video later on how to determine whether your, your motor is a Hemi or a non-Hemi at the hardware store. So like at your Harbor Freight, I'm gonna show you how like you can determine, because I went over there and quickly found out uh, this was the last Hemi they had. They had a couple other non-Hemi ver versions. So I went ahead, grabbed this one right quick. And yeah, we'll go ahead and get some box cutters. Go ahead and open this Hemi motor. Real quick way, way you can check. Oh, the other side. You can easily see the head in there. And it's a hemi head, so pretty much basically that's it. But I'm gonna go in a little bit more in depth in that video that I'm gonna make. Just a little bit more in depth. If I can open this. Okay. There's your instructions. Here's some of your cardboard. Here. Some more of your cardboard. Some more of your cardboard. And your engine. Nope, not your engine. Okay, I'm just to do what I did last time. Engine. And spark plug tools. Get over there. Same thing as the other one. Hemi with the head, the exhaust, and the nice filter. So I can see that. Yeah. Yep. It's the Hemi. Now, the next part, I'm going to show you that what it's going to go on. And after that, we're going to go ahead and take the case off of this and rip the governor out because I actually have gaskets. I got prepared this time. So yeah, let me go show you what we're gonna put it on. Jeep looking all nice and shiny. Okay. So I can see this is the new project. And this is an old motor that is junk, very junk. Uh, this has actually been in the background. You might have been able to see it back in the trike build, but I mean, I have a go-kart now. There's nothing really much to say about it. It's got good steering. I know that. Pretty good steering. Uh, all the pedals work. All that's good to go. Literally, all I need to do is get the assembly for the wheel, for drive wheel. I'm not gonna make it a live axle yet for the time being, but I have all the parts on the way from Go Power Sports. Haven't been shipped yet for five days, so hopefully they'll ship it. I need them to. And with the new build being said, let's go ahead and get this motor apart. Not apart like in a million pieces, but you know what I mean. Taking the case off of it. See y'all in a minute. All right, I hope y'all can hear me from the fan because the fan is required in the summertime. That is a tight bolt, okay. That one. I'm gonna get this case unbolted. Get the camera as well. I hit the camera again in my leg. Okay. Try not to do that. All we gotta do all I'm gonna do to this right now, I don't think I heard I don't think I mentioned yet. I'm just taking the governor out. That's all I wanna do right now. 
Uh, I've been looking at videos online how to take them out. It should be easy. About to find out. Uh, I don't think I've ever taken the governor out of the 212. I've done it on that 79 over there. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, cross your fingers, I don't ruin this thing. And I know I'm not going to forget to remove that stupid washer on the bottom of the gear. Remove it. Keep, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat it to myself until I remove it. Because if I don't remove that, bad things happen inside of here. So I'm removing this last bolt. Let's see how much oil is from the factory. I, it's still the packaging over there. This is like two minutes after I showed y'all the unboxing. This is zip tie the key. Motor has never been ran yet, so gasket shouldn't be hot. Might be able to save this gasket if I didn't rip it. Ooh. Let's rip it right here. Yeah. Can I save it? I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save this gasket. And I ripped it. Damn. Oh well. Not much gasket material in there. But, there's a little bit of oil in there. It's just to keep things lubricated. Um, governor gear. We are removing that. Let's remove this gasket. Okay, okay. Still gotta scrape off a little bit of material. I have to do it my nail. Mm -hmm. no. Last time I was being stupid, the very first time I've ever taken a case, the cap or cover off of anything, I uh, took the cover off the 79 and I used a metal scraper and it put a big scrape right here in the case. So it was bad. That's it. Lesson learned never using metal again. I'm gonna go ahead and get this gasket material off and I'll get back with you in a minute. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and undid this hose, undid the two bolts, the three bolts hold in the gas tank. One right there and the two right there. So now I'm gonna put you on the said tripod. Okay. You can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and air filter. And yes, tank is still held on. Players, one sec. Gas tank needs to come off. Lamp. Try to get it off. That. And then two. Like that. Here it goes. Gas tank and filter and some off. And this, don't lose that. That's important. It goes like that. Yeah. That doesn't. There it goes. I'll figure it out later. That with air filter. And now you don't spill oil on the carpet. Mat. That wouldn't be a good thing. And then we have access to governor. Um, yay. Alright, let me go ahead and remove that. Well, I need to look up on some more information on how to remove it properly because last time I was beating that one with a hammer. And I don't want to do that with this. So I'll get back with y'all in a minute. Alright, I have to redo that last part because it was poured in slow mo. But basically, all I was saying was. I watched that video, the guy said to remove this 10 millimeter bolt, slide this arm out, get all reliable, and cut some of this rod out. And you can see inside, it will get that arm, and you can just slide it straight down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll get back with y'all. Alright, real quick, 
I didn't even have to cut it. It just slid straight out. So now I'm gonna throw that over there. We need that. He said inside here, let me open it a little bit. There is a E-clip in the very center. And he said to get a hammer and just hammer the Jesus out of it until it comes out. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can. These bunches I can zoom. Alright, little like silver round thing around that center piece is the e-clip just hammer that thing until it comes out all right so i don't know if i showed but first this came off you can literally just pull this off well i got my flathead right here and just kept pushing it and it finally just popped off like that so did that washer then i got my flathead kept banging this this e-clip until it looked like that and then I used this pick right here kept pulling it and pulling it until it came off and then I got this guy and let's see just kept wiggling wiggling until yeah that is trash now look what I'm not forgetting I'm not gonna forget I'm not gonna forget. I'm not gonna forget. Where y'all can't see it. I can't grab it. Hold on. Yeah, I see you. You're not getting away from me. Come on. No, I can't really see, but I'm gonna get that stupid washer out of there. And I think that's all I need to do, but besides tap and drill this hole with a new nut. I'm not removing the oil sensor because I don't feel like it. I, I don't mind it. it. I'm not gonna be going off road or jumping or anything, shaking this motor to death. So it can stay in there fine by me. Just maintain the ribbon that go there. So I'm gonna go ahead, take that washer out. Go maybe go take a trip to the hardware store, find a bolt that'll fit in that hole. And I'll get back with y'all when I get that done yeah all right it's a good almost two hours later uh took two trips to the hardware store uh many passes with this thing and finally bolts o-rings all on there so it's all tight ain't going nowhere i highly doubt it's gonna leak anytime soon so yeah that's on there now let me show y'all but 12 bucks can get you on Amazon this two whole sets of gaskets every last gasket on this boom this motor and I have two of these so if I need to take the governor out of that motor over there focus over there I can so with this goes on I want you not fit no I don't want to say that Oh god, it might not fit. I'm putting it on right here. Uh oh. It's not looking good. Yeah, it's not wanting to fit. I'm putting it on right. Okay, let me figure this out. I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, I take that back. This is for non-hemi engines. I pull the other the other gasket out of this but this box, and look what fits perfectly on here. So that being said, I have no use for this. Throw it over there. Um, yeah. So apparently the gaskets are different for the hemi and the non-hemi. I did not know that, and that kind of sucks. So. I have a whole bunch of gaskets that fit the non-hemi version that I can't use. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cover. No, look, I'm already messing up. I didn't scrape that part off. Let me go scrape that part off. You get the cover back on, and these six, five, five bolts bolted back in. All right, let me show you what I've been doing besides poking holes in the carpet. Um, so 
came to me realize that hold on focus not on that all right whatever but you see those two that bolt and that right there they were the other way around but i switched it because if that nut came loose it falls into the crankcase i don't want that to happen so i put the nut on the outside it was a pain in the butt but i got that bolt on the inside the nut on the outside and now i'm going to go ahead and put the thing back together gasket there yep i'm gonna see y'all whenever i get this thing back together all right case is back on let's see went ahead and since you don't have all of this mess over here you have to make your own throttle linkages and stuff so i used the one that connects from the arm to the governor arm and I just cut it up and bent it a little bit. And as you can see, when I pull it back, it goes. So, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it ain't falling off anytime soon. So, it's pretty sturdy. Yeah, it ain't going anywhere. So, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, the air filter, gas tank, all that back on. And I'll catch you back when we do that. All right. Finished it up, went ahead, tightened down those, got the bolt back, back, I don't know what happened to my phone, I pressed something, whatever, but I got the bolt back in here, that gas tank bolt and the two down there, got those up, I accidentally pressed the on button sometime, somewhere, I forgot, and all it's left to do is put oil and start it. Put oil and gas and start it. I'll get back with y'all when I'm ready to start this thing. So stay tuned. All right, let me show you what I have in here with it right now. So, I had to put it all together. I put oil in it, everything. I was fixing to put gas in it. I just decided, let me turn the motor over so you make, make, make sure everything's good. So I turn it over, I hear a big clock and stops and will not turn at all. Motor won't turn over at all. So, I'm over here thinking I got a bad motor and I took whole, I, I drained all the oil out took the cover off thinking something fell in there maybe i don't know it's getting stuck the crankshaft's getting stuck on my new motor my new, uh bolt up there i didn't know what's going on so i took the crankcase off nothing looked broken sorry that last bit cut off but uh nothing looked broken on here so i ended up taking the exhaust off the air filter all that off and then come to find out i take the head off and this rod just um things just sitting here like that so and this one came off too but i just put some back on i mean there's a little bit of play in it but i didn't think they'd actually come off so i'm gonna go ahead undo the c-clip pull the shaft out put the rocker back onto the arm then put the pin right back into its spot put the c-clip back in and hopefully i'll turn it over a little bit make sure these rockers move but see how it goes hopefully it doesn't happen again all right just finished putting gas um the on switch fell off i swear i got a limit of something okay we'll turn it you see how the on switch is like weird there it is see yeah okay now on Okay, that was weird. It is a hot one in Texas, boys. Whew. A little bit of Maybe it's short. Yeah. 
Okay, let me go look at this. I'll be back to you. So that's going to be the end of this video. Spent a good five hours taking that motor apart, trying to get it to go back up again. Um, this is all I can really do right now. Till I'm just waiting on parts like clutches, rear tire assembly, brackets, and that stupid drum brake. But until those show up, I guess this is all I can do. I guess I'll get back with y'all as soon as those parts show up. Go Power Sports, hurry up. All right, see y'all later. All of that for this piece of